So, you're thinking about getting a cyclone filter, but like to know more? Well, stick around, I'll show you everything I know. Hi everyone, welcome to Cube. My name is David, and if you're anything like me, you hate dust in the shop. And well, uh, we're gonna do something about that in this two-part video. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the cyclone filter uh, and how you assemble it and how it works. And next week, probably next week, we'll be making uh, adjustments to our dust collection throughout the entire shop and I'll show you some tips and tricks to avoid those nasty, nasty uh, dust particles going around in your shop. If you like to skip right to business, I'll put some timestamps down below for assembly, for some tips and tricks, for uh, a final conclusion on uh, if it's worth it or not and how it works. So let's get right to business. We're gonna start uh, assembly because there's some, a few things you have to watch out for. Depending on the package you're going for on their website, there are all kinds of setups, small, bigger, uh, plastic bucket or metal bucket, all uh, different uh, shapes and sizes for your needs. So uh, take a look on their website. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find what you're looking for. For my shop, I went with a, a bigger metal bucket just because, um, well, things fill up uh, quite fast uh, here in the shop, especially when I'm doing uh, repetitive work and uh, making the same cuts over and over again or turning on the lathe, uh, uh, stuff like that. So let's get this baby assembled. There's, uh, it's actually really easy. It's basically plug and play right out of the box. Uh, but there is one thing you have to watch out for though, and that's when you order a metal bucket like this one, uh, or I think it's with a, a plastic one as well. Um, you have to make sure you assemble these things correctly, otherwise you'll have some leakage around the edge. And well, it makes sense uh, that we don't want that. Um, so the cone goes first, then you have this rubber band that goes around it. All of this is put together on top of the lid. Whoops. On top of the lid, like this. And then there is a metal ring. There, stay. <laughs> and then there is a metal ring uh, that we're going to be putting on top here to clamp everything together, because this way we'll have a really airtight seal uh to prevent any leakage or even dust escaping from uh, the seams there you go that's all there is to it cyclone Cyclone rubber band, metal ring on the bottom, and there we go. This bad boy is ready to go. Again, depending on the package you chose from their website, you will have all kinds of accessories you can use, like this adapter, or if you have a really small vacuum or a really big vacuum, uh, or even this little brushes um, you can use to sweep the floor or uh, surfaces like your workbench. These things I really love. These are some adapters you can put on top of the, the cyclone itself. And once it's in there, you know for sure you'll have a perfect fit for your vacuum. And it just, you put in the, the hose and you're good to go. Everything locks up really nice and it's uh, airtight. Now that we've set up everything as it should, uh, let me explain how it works. Once you've turned on your shop vac or your dust collector, it's gonna immediately immediately start creating a vacuum on the, ba on the bottom here of the, the bucket. Um, and the only way it's gonna get more air is through this hole on top where the hose is connected for our dust collection. Um, and the shape of the cyclone, as well as this small slope at the top here, is gonna amplify the, uh, the vortex effect, if you will. Um, and so what happens is when you start collecting dust particles, it's gonna be forced against the wall 
and it's going to be pushed down in a cyclone way uh, and it's going to be pushed to the wall and be dropped in the bucket on the bottom here. Um, so what's left is uh, the only way the shop I can get air is in the middle here and because of because all the particles are being pushed against the side walls of the cyclone there's almost no dust being collected by the shop vac and we all know what happens uh, when we don't have the cyclone filter in between once the bag gets full once the um, filter gets clogged up well it's basically useless so to come to a conclusion is a cyclone filter worth it 100 percent yes at least for me in a small to medium workshop where i need dust collection at full capacity at all times i would highly suggest to get a cyclone filter for me it's really worth it for two reasons i can keep my shop bag which is a, a, a small little beast right out of the box uh, i can keep it performing at full capacity at all times the uh, particles that do make it into the bag are really really that small uh, that over the three or four months i guess now that i've been using the the dust collect uh, the cyclone filter um, i haven't had to replace the bag once and when you look at it now it's it, there's, there's there's hardly anything in it so for me it's really really an improvement in the shop here but hey that's it for this week uh, if you do have any questions please let me know down below or hit me up on instagram i'm posting there all the time um, feel free to ask me anything i'm basically an open book uh, next week we'll be building a central dust collection system uh, for the machines against the wall and maybe make a mobile base for the cyclone filter as well see you next time and don't forget to make something colorful bye bye